Anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, what you going to be when it's cold outside and your boy's got the mumps and you've got nothing on your table but regret? D don't you see what the Vox Popular is selling? They're selling dreams! Don't get too comfortable with dreams, my friend. Sir, they don't come cheap. You are a means to an end. No more. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Let me see. Ready. Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you. Gunsmith, who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Killed in the bar. Industries recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. You want to take a look at this? I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. The old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Uh, that's fink timber, a fink hammer, and fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> He needs me, lest he soil his own. Vengeance is mine, saith the prophet! Get it out of
what you did. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. I, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. I hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bedsheets. 
My name is Jeremiah Fink, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. Some say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Fink Company Store brings you Fink products at a price designed specifically for the Fink worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Now, some say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I'd let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Fink Company Store brings you Fink products at a price designed specifically for the Fink worker. Picking. No problem. There you go.
Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop. Starting bid. 20 minutes. 15 minutes. You know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. Uh, uh, why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? No, uh, let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply can't. Why not, you ask? Well, I can sum it up for you in one word. Morality. You see, my friends, the idle hand is the tool of the devil. You take industry from a man's hand, and what goes in its place? Whiskey? Women? That poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Looks like everything's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Think I done for Lady Comstock? Well, everybody noticed me. I had to think it. And I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. the need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Great. 
And why would you want to? But who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job, you eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. Anyone's heard that song. Take your time. I'm fine. 
down here.
forgotten the Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship at ain't happening. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Maylin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Who is the flying squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're watching?